Hey everyone, React 19 is officially out and I'm going to show you in this video how you can install or basically upgrade from React 18 to React 19. So let's get started. I just have here a simple old React application. Basically we have an app that is going to load a user component. The user component consists of the user as a state. So we're using use state and use effect in order, in order to bring in the user. We're going to use a synchronous code a synchronous function in order to fetch the user with a await function. We're going to bring in the user from the JSON placeholder .type become, and we're going to then await for the response, which we're going to take a hold then as JSON data and return it here as the user. And you're just seeing here a lot of table in CSS classes, but ignore them. What we're basically concentrating on is on this user and the methodology we're bringing in the user. So this is the old way. You, we're using use state, use effect. Now we can replace them with a single hook with a use hook. In order to use the use hook, we need to install React 19 beta. Now the official version will come up, I believe in September, and I don't think they're going to do much changes. So I'm just going to show you how to install React 19 beta. First things first, I'm going to stop the command line. It doesn't matter if you're on Windows or Mac or Linux, okay? So let's stop the terminal. If I do here a refresh, it's not working anymore. Now, in order to install, we're going to npm install react. And in order to install the beta version, you need to add at beta uh, to react. So we're going to install react at beta. And also we need to install the DOM, the react DOM. So react dash DOM at beta. Okay, let's hit enter. It's going to take a couple of seconds. And now you should be good to go to run React version 19. So let's do it npm start again, and this should not start up our React application again. Okay, so we're up and running again, but where do we know that we have React 19 installed? Well, a simpler way to check it is to go to the package.json and under dependencies, you should now see React version 19 beta and React DOM version 19 beta. Okay, so what can now React beta do for us? Well, as I said, it simplifies a couple of things. And I also had a video on what updates are coming to React 19. But first, I'm going to show you how the use hook works. So let's again, let's once again go over our short application. We are getting a user via a fetch request here. We are set, sending it into our use effect. Let me just refresh here the application. Use effects is going to take two seconds because we have a set timeout function. And then we're going to, so I'm just simulating that we have a little delay. For this little delay, we're going to use suspense and in order to fetch the data, uh, basically you can also see that as long as there's no user, we're going to display loading coming from here and then we're going to get the user. Okay, now we're going to do it React 19 way. So let me create a new file called newuser.jsx rfc. Now I'm going to bring in here use hook, comma, open close curly brackets, use. You couldn't use this hook in 18. So if you would, if you will still remain on 18, this hook will not work for you. I'm going to go over to my old application. I'm going to grab onto this function because we're going to need it, paste it underneath our component. And then within our component, I'm just going to return here in curly brackets, a user dot name again. And down here in our application before our return, I'm just going to cons create a variable for the user and assign it to the use hook. And within this hook, I'm going to call upon the fetch user function. So let me grab onto this function, pass it in here. And that's basically it. Uh, still capital, so user. So let's try this out. I'm going to bring in, I'm going to go back to my application. Instead of user component, I'm going to bring in now new user. Also, don't forget to import him. Import new user. I'm going to comment out the old user. Also comment out this import. And now you need to add the suspense component to it, which is basi which basically lets you display a fallback until the children have finished loading. So let's bring in suspense, import suspense from React, and let's use our suspense down here. Let's pass in the user in our suspense component. And this has a fallback property. Now the fallback property will be basically what will be displayed as long as the children are loading. So I'm just going to type in here loading. Actually, let me bring it into an H2, H2 and loading. 
Okay, and there we go. Let's do another refresh. Loading is displayed and then the user will be loaded. I'm not going to change the speed of the on how long loading will be displayed, but as you can see, simple as that, new user is now brought in using only two lines of code instead of this. No use effect, no use state, just the use hook, which will then use our fetch user function. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And with this being said, I'm Robert BM wishing you happy coding. Catch you next time. Bye bye.